Hey everyone, it's Jack here, Talknery City. Welcome back to another match day experience and welcome back uh, to the final home game of 2021. Um, sadly, due to COVID and everything, we haven't seen as much football at Carrow Road as we would have hoped, but uh, we need to make the most of today. It is absolutely chucky it down outside. It's a proper Boxing Day weather, um, but there's always something quite special about Boxing Day. You're still kind of wearing your pigs and blankets and stuffing off from the day before and heading down to Carrow Road. Uh, I will always for the rest of my life remember that draw against Nottingham Forest where Onel scored in the last minute. Uh, that was a truly brilliant Boxing Day game. I'm really looking forward to getting there today against Arsenal despite our injury and Covid woes. Um, the team selection I think is uh, is basically throw a dart at a dartboard and hope for the best out of the players we've got left who are still fit and uh, non-infectious. Um, as always, uh, a massive thank you for your support this season. Um, really appreciate it. And thanks for your love um, with the Manscaped deals. There's been a, a real outpouring of love for them and they're sponsoring today's video as well. Now, I can say it, but I actually bought um, one of their performance packages for Chris for Christmas uh, and he absolutely loved it, which was good. Um, New Year is coming, uh, head into 2022 in the best way possible. Uh, there's a link in the description for Manscaped. Um, their performance package is brilliant and it's headlined by their signature lawnmower 4.0. Now, you get discount, 20% off using the code TNC at checkout. That's 20% off and free shipping and there's loads of sales um, between Boxing Day and New Year's Day as well. So uh, if you want to get the best um, in male grooming, uh, below the waist male grooming, you know where to go. Manscaped will sort you right out. Uh, the link to them are in the description. I'm not expecting much today. I'm going with zero expectation and that way, anything more than that is a huge positive. Um, but I'm just gonna embrace the day, have a beer, see my mates, and hope for the best. Let's do this. Nice jacket. Thank you, mate. Little, little Christmas present. Yeah, Miss Reed sort me out. Too. She's a good girl, isn't she? Yeah, did you like the present off me? Yes, I did. Fresh balls? Yes, manscaped, and I can shave my balls. <laughs> Perfect, Will Norwich City have fresh balls today? Well, they'll need something to get You're not confident, are you? I'm worried. You are seeping with pessimism. I'm very worried. I don't like that from you. I'm buzzing. I hate that from you. But I'm buzzing. That is incredible. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? First Premier League start for Norwich. And when I took him for that, though, he said to me, I just want to play. I'm buzzing to get here. What's Angus Guns Nando's order? Um, I think he's he went for like wings, lemon herb. He didn't have any chips, though. Yeah, he's a footballer. He's an athlete. Anyway, I think we could do something today. Yeah. I just don't think What's going on here? Have you scared everyone off? That's the Chris Reeve effect. They're Jack, they've had my pre match poo, so all the nerves. Chris? All the nerves. Chris? That's disgusting. Yeah, no. Craig, yeah, no. good Christmas? Yeah, it's good, thank you. Turkey? Yeah. Good? <laughs> here are the Arsenal fans. Boxing day's here, and it's miserable. Boom! Cardi, hello! Come boys! Come on boys! Come on boys! And City's number one, Son of Brian Gunn. We've got Angus and go! We've got Angus! Angus and go! Just don't think you understand. City's number one, Son of Brian Gunn. We've got a guessing goal! One nil.
past no, Norwich two, past them two, Norwich nil, half time. So Chris, I thought we were gonna go in at one nil. Thought we were gonna hold them out. And a sloppy goal. I felt like that second was coming, Jack. I know Norwich haven't turned up. The highlight of that first half was we've seen two scraps between the Norwich players and the Arsenal players. That was the highlight. We've offered absolutely jack shit up top. Again. No no through balls to Pookie. No, no one is connecting the ball to Pookie at all. The worrying thing is is, is, so is, is, is the game plan almost seems like just chuck it to Boheta and see what he can do. I'll tell you one thing for free. Pee-Pee, maybe this is a worry. Pee-Pee's my man of the match suit. Well, is that, does that but show this, how low the standards have dropped? Because at least he's bringing the ball forwards. He's taking players on. He's tripping by the way. He got a shot on target. That says it all. Did he? The thing that is really pissing me off, Jack, is we're not even matching them. If you're going to fall over, fall over fighting. Mm. And we're giving them so much space, so much time. It's, it's at the moment a pathetic defensive display, and people will have a problem with this. I feel sorry for Angus today. I feel really sorry for Angus because he's a lamb to the slaughter today with mm. this lot in front of him. A lamb to the. Who, who, how much space are we giving? How does it change, though? I don't know because we've got nothing coming off the bench. I, I don't know, Jack. But I feel but surely really... this bunch of players are, are, are worth more than what they're showing at well, the moment. Well, I thought that, Jack, but what I'm being quickly proven is that the recruitment wasn't good enough in the summer. Right. And I thought it was, and I stood by them, as you know, we've said that on the podcast. But what we're seeing on the pitch right now is a team with barely any confidence. Mm. It's, it's right in the headlines, but fair play to Arsenal. They're playing the ball quickly, and the quality is... So it's, it's ridiculous how much better they are than us, right? But the worry is, I feel like they're in gear three. Mm. And they've still got another two or three to go. What do you think? Yeah, right. Mate, you got, mate, the thing is, you're laughing at this, but I can't, you have to I laugh. can't laugh at this, though. I think it's disgraceful. The way that we've come out today is piss poor. PP. PP. <laughs> mate, PP's played for <laughs> The most incredible thing I've seen this half is the fact that this hot chocolate remains upright on this angle. That defies physics. Incredible scenes. Come on, Kieran! Come on, Kieran! Come on, boys! Come on, you yellows! Go on, down, Come on, Kieran! Whip one in, son! Nice! Oh! Come on, Angus! Come on, Angus! to 10. City had problems. Um, I don't think we quite realised the extent of these problems. Um, I, I often feel like saying, oh, they weren't running enough, or oh, we made it, you know, there wasn't enough passion is quite a cop out sometimes, and often like that's just not true. Today that did feel true, and, and we just made it so easy for Arsenal. And, and Kenny McLean said that in his post match interview. Arsenal. I don't think even got out of second gear. They just strolled through and, you know, scored when they wanted to, really. Ah, oh, we'll get a goal before half time. Yeah, we'll have that. Oh, five. Yeah, okay. Make it five. You know, get some fantasy points in for the people with, uh, with, with Saka and Smith Rowe. But um, look, I'm, I'm still shocked that we are within touching distance of safety at this point because we don't deserve to be. And, you know, the fact that we still are is testament to the fact that there are some other really poor sides in this division. Um, but Norwich City have to improve and improve quickly. And I don't feel as if COVID or injuries were, were necessarily an excuse today. We still fielded a side that, um, you know, featured new signings in Quebec and Sargent. 
Um, Jollis came on. Brandon Williams was in there. So, you know, players that Norwich City recruited were starting today. And, and unfortunately, we still yet to see the best of any of them. So, very disappointing. And I, I may sound not too angry because, you know, we've seen this all before. Um, and I sound like a broken record. But there we go. Norwich City lost 5-0. Arsenal knocked it about well. I think they'll be um, in, in for a shout for the top four this season. I thought they looked far better than Manchester United did a couple of weeks ago. Um... And one of the better sides to come to Carrow Road this season, but um, we made it far too easy for them. There we go. Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring the video. At least they've been a, a positive in this uh, horizon of doom. Um, and I'll see you all again Tuesday <laughs> for another game against Crystal Palace. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.